We've all heard the statement, be the change you wish to see. I think the person that created that must have known Moy Mendez. Born and raised in a south suburb of Chicago that was once revered for its antique stores, art galleries, and ethnic delicatessens, has in recent years seen a mass exodus. But Moy decided instead of withdrawing from the community that he loves, that he would invest. I cannot wait for him to tell you how he did that. I'm Claudia Parker, and 5 Minutes of Faith starts now. Hi, my name is Moy. I'm the executive director of the Hope Center, and I'm also a pastor. I'm here on 5 Minutes of Faith with Claudia Parker. So as a Latino, there's uh, three different, three main things that are very specific to our culture. One of them is family, the second one is work, and the third is faith. And it's actually in that order. As I set out on this journey to say, God, I really genuinely want to experience you. And I don't know what shape or form, but I'm not going to be picky to it, and I'm not going to be prejudiced and, as to what way you choose to move or reveal yourself to me. So what was interesting was, you know, there's this uh, service happening at our anniversary at the church that I used to attend. And uh, it was during September and everybody was going up to the front to just get prayed for. And um, I just went up to the front just because I didn't want to be, you know, those altar calls that they make at church. You know, uh, I want to invite everybody to come up. First of all, if you don't know the Lord, come on up. Number two, if you want to get close to the Lord, I want to invite you to come up. Well, if you don't fall in either of those two camps, you sort of end up being the person that um, is not wanting to know God. So I went up there just to satisfy sort of status quo. I'm going to go up there. Well, when I went up there, um, one of the one of the ministers up there prayed for me. And I'll never forget what I experienced, um, which still has me a little boggled to this day. I had a phenomenological experience. It was a very real, a visceral experience that left me with a sincere hunger and desire to know God more. Doing the work that I do has strengthened my relationship with God because I feel that this this didn't necessarily come from me. I, I, I feel that I could use my giftings and abilities in so many different ways, especially in ways that could be exceptionally, exceptionally profitable for me and my family. But instead, I've decided to use my gift my giftings and skill set to accept God's invitation. And that's God's invitation to be, be the change that He wants us to be in this world. So to be able to do that has allowed me to move into this area where it's a daily offering of my gifts, my talents. It's what the Bible calls a living sacrifice. At that at the Bible times, they used to burn sacrifices and offer them to God. In Romans, it calls us to be living sacrifices. We're actually living but sacrificially giving our gifts, our talents to God. So the Hope Center is a nonprofit focused on community economic development. For me, there's just this hunger, this desire to add value. Uh, many of us see neighborhoods as they start sort of decaying, people start moving out. At, at some point, somebody says, mom or dad, hey, we need to leave the neighborhood. Um, it also interests me that they make a decision to move to a certain neighborhood, a certain neighborhood they find value in. Why is there value in certain neighborhoods and not in others? So what I began to think was, well, Blue Island was a place that I grew up in that really helped shape me to be the person that I am today. Part of my experiences led me, I want to be able to give back, not only to God, but to the place that helped shape me, to the experience, both good and bad. But what could I do as a person to add value back into the neighborhood? So I came up with this idea. I thought. I want to add value in four of the following areas. Number one, as a pastor, I want to add spiritual value. And spiritual value for us Christians means enriching our understanding of who Christ is and become more like Him. For somebody that doesn't believe, spiritual value has more to do with purpose. How do I live out my purpose in the world? So it's spiritual value, economic value, social value, and intellectual value. So those are the areas that I wanted it to, to add value into the neighborhood. And I do it through three of our uh, main vehicles. One of them is agriculture. We have an outdoor and an indoor garden. Uh, the other one is auto mechanics. And the last one is technology, where we have 3D printers. And uh, our director just so happens to be an uh, engineer um, who does the work of a patent attorney. So yeah. Well, I'm exactly not sure who's going to watch this, but I'm excited. And I hope that somebody along the way really begins to pay attention to these burning desires that you have or these visions, um, these inklings that you have late at night that have you thinking what if. 
What if you desire, decided to do this one very thing to make a difference? And it might be making a difference in your community, in your family, in your own personal life. But I would really encourage you to entertain that thought, that question, and hopefully fulfill it and see the change that only God could do through your life.